Well, summer entertaining, entertaining is a great chance to gather all of your friends and family together as we've done here in our home and family. They're all chatting, getting ready because we are going to be having a clam bake from um, our chef Ben Ford. He's here. He's written a book called Tame the Feast and he's going to show us exactly how we can have one in our very own backyard. Our well, very... first of all, welcome Ben. It's nice Thank to you. have you good, back. Really, really good to be Where here. Where did tame, Taming the Feast, Where did the, what was the inspiration behind that? You know, I just wanted to some of my favorite experiences in life have been around a big table, maybe a little too much to drink and a little too much to eat on the table. And, you know, I just wanted to give people a blueprint and outline to sort of throw these kind of experiences for themselves. And sure. this was the inspiration for it. Well, that's good. So you don't really need to have a beach in front of you. You can do this in your own backyard. No, in fact, right. this is a Southland clam bake. You know, it's getting harder and harder to dig up a beach and, and, <laughs> and, and, and lay fire to it and stuff like that. So I, I actually, for the cookbook, I designed this barrel clam bake that we did, and it's transportable, and you can do it anywhere. And then we have this tamed version that we're going to be doing today that's good for uh, eight to ten people. Great. What, for most people, what goes in a clam bake? I mean, clams, but... You know, it's really other things. Well, in a traditional clam bake, you're going to have lobster, and you're going to have, you know, you'll have andouille sausage instead of chorizo. And mm -hmm. really, what I wanted to do here was sort of give some identity to the Southland. If we're going to go, we're not going to be able to go to the beach and do that sort of full effect clam bake anymore. Yeah. We might as well have some fun with it. Sure. So we did Dungeons crab, we did our, some artichokes and some things like that. More representative of California. Right. Right. Right now, the corn. Everybody loves corn on the cob, and pretty soon it's going to be in season. And I love the idea of what you did here. You actually hog tied them. So you want to show Wait, us? Or what is that? Yeah, 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 I'm you know, an I, Iowa boy. I don't know I, much about hog tying and hog tying corn. It sounded apropos. I, to, I don't know. I just like I like the name of the hog tying corn. So I mean, I've never. I didn't steal it from anybody. I just I just invented it, and, and hopefully it makes sense to everyone. Yeah. So, so what? So what do we do? So to hog tie corn, all you really want to do, and you can do this process here. Actually, one help me with it. Okay. okay. Peel off those outside big leaf okay. uh, husks. Okay. You're taking all of them off? Uh, you're going to get down to where it's, uh, you know, where you can like bend that? it a little bit easier. Okay. And then you, yeah, and we're going to want to replace it. So you're going to carefully pull it down, and then you're going to take the silk off. Okay, which we're going to pull okay. some. Oh, the silk comes out very and, easily. And then throw well, it you on your part together. Oh, so you doing time, so. throw it. Punch buggy. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. We've <laughs> cooked together a couple times already. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, 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 okay. So all we're going to do that. We're going to brush with a little bit of our butter here. Just now, what do you nice have in this butter? Because it's not um, normal butter. It's got a little bit of some, it's got some thyme, it's got some garlic in there. Oh, um, and it's just yummy. I like to put roasted garlic in there, so it's not, mm. you can slather on there pretty good. It's already all seasoned up. And Bring that together. Close it back together. Yeah. Okay. Tie it with a little bit of twine here. Okay. And you can also use the husk too, which is kind of a, a neat touch if you can do that. Because I'll do this and bow. put it like in a little of foil or something, but this seems so beautiful. Much. And there you go. Throw them on there. And then we just throw them on the coal? Throw them straight on the grill. So Ooh, thank you. The, Should we start? Uh, yes, yeah, let's, let's get start. started. Okay. So what we're gonna do is the first thing you want to do is this is actually called rockweed. This is the best of the best of the seaweeds you can find. If Where can, do we find this? Well you can find it at your at your uh, at your uh, good seafood markets or you can find it online. Is this, this sometimes is they'll, pack, sometimes this they'll is... pack stuff in this for you. So you don't too. go to the beach and just pick this up off the sand. Well, right? you can. Oh. You can. If you live in the right areas or if you live, but you know, mm. there's sources for all this stuff in the back of the book. So it's okay. very briny. Here, smell it. Isn't oh, that wow. nice? Wow. It smells like the wow. ocean. Yeah. Okay. That's super nice. If you listen to it, does it sound like the ocean? Uh, no, because it's crackling. <laughs> That's not good. It, it smells does. good. It, yeah, it, it does. It Listen smells good. Sorry about the appetite. So you, all of a sudden, I feel like I'm at the ocean, you know? Yeah. yeah. So can you hand mm -hmm. me a few of these things? I'm going to start throwing sure. this guy together. How about the artichokes? Let's okay. start with those. Okay. okay. Now, artichokes are kind of tough, so how long does they have to, how long do they have to cook? Well, this, I'm going to put them in the bottom because okay. the things that are a little bit harder, I want them to have a little bit more chance to cook on the bottom of this. Okay. So they're going to take about 40 minutes along oh. with all the rest of it. But okay. it's all about positioning it. So we're going to throw our artichokes in here. Okay. okay. What do you want um, let's do the let's do these potatoes and onions. Okay. We're gonna save one potato for the top, and what we're gonna do with that potato is it's gonna be our tester potato. Mm. When we know that this potato is done, we're gonna know the rest of the clam bake is done. Okay. So it's a great little tool to use. That Look at that! It Why? does. It does. Mm. And okay. save your biggest potato. Okay. Potatoes and artichokes go first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Put onions that. in okay. there too. Why don't we throw our uh, throw our corn on? Throw okay. the corn on. Yeah. Hand me a couple of those guys. Kim, how are you doing down there? You all right? Oh, your um, mouth is full. Yeah. Hey, oh. You guys all good? <laughs> yes, I'm Good. Did you wait for me to take a bite? I was waiting the whole okay. time. Yeah, that's good. They put that's this good. on We're my throw plate. Our sausage on. Wouldn't take long for you to get food in your mouth, though, so I, I didn't have to wait what, long. Mark, I, I, I love you. Look at the bread. 
Oh my Kim's gosh. Plate. Look, at plate. Look at her they plate. Look at the size plate. of Kim's plate. Well, well, the 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 women. Women. Are, women. are you kidding me? Well, what? What are they were serving me? <laughs> look at that. And look, wow, did you save any for me and Mark and Ben? No, well, she did oh. not. Okay. Okay. That's not fair. She has a sausage. You have a sausage? <laughs> yes. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, Ben. Sophie's upset you have a sausage. I know. Okay. Okay. All right, now what are we doing? So we're going to throw our shrimp on there. Shrimp? Then okay. we might then just crab. And then crab comes. Now this is, ooh, this is really raw. Uh, it's kind of still kind of moving. Oh, these are great. Oh, these are actually moving. coming from, um, these are coming from Alaska now. Look how beautiful this is. Wow. Now let me ask you something, Ben, because shrimp cooks like in a few minutes. Is it supposed to stay on there for 45 minutes? Yeah, you know, minutes? all this is buffering it already. It's so buffering. we're all good okay. to show here. I'm gonna throw some right. clams on there. Some clams. Beautiful. It's like a giant crock pot. Hey. Although that again, once again, simplifies matters. But I mean it, it you just put it on. I'm just gonna we top it with a little bit home. more of our seaweed. Seaweed. This is amazing. I'm so gonna do this. This is so much Woo. fun. Our tester Great. potato right there on top. Tester potato. Okay. All right, then the lid goes on for 45 minutes. Lid goes on for about 35 to 40 minutes. 35 to 40 minutes. Yeah, somewhere and in there. that's it. Okay. That's it. And away it goes. And, and then, then when it's ready, the this is what you get. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. Oh. I like that clip. Look at that. Right so that one. You can actually use a little of this to garnish your t plate if you like. What's what? Can you eat the seaweed? You know, I have actually haven't done it on purpose. You can do a bath with it. You can rub it on your face. You can yeah, rub it on your face. I'm gonna grab this one, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So I'm gonna okay. Look at that. Ooh. Huh? I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Betty? Oh, that could be fine. So good. You can see everything in here is really nicely cooked and perfectly. But it cooks and this is all the same at the same pace. Here. Look at the artichoke. Yeah. Mm. Do one of those guys. Want one more? Mm -hmm. No, I'm good. I'm mm -hmm. going to try shrimp here in a minute. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Yeah. We're so busy eating. Even the eating. onions are done really well. So. I want to. I want to. Here's.